Hey everyone, Dennis here from the VoiceLoad team. Just wanted to show you another way how you can handle false positives in VoiceLoad's NLU. In the previous video, we talked about adding utterances to our fallback. So in our example, when somebody wants to pay with credit and not debit, we've added it here to the fallback. And when we run this, if somebody says credit, we don't match. Now, an alternative is to define a specific path for handling this type of conversation. So this might be a frequently asked question. So what we can do is we can add an intent here and call it pay with credit and add our standard utterances, credit, credit, card, great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these from my fallback intent. And whenever somebody says something like pay with credit, I'm going to give them a message and be like, hey, we don't support that right now, but it's coming soon. Sorry, we don't support credit right now. It's coming soon. And then we can link it back to this choice block here. So I'll say credit. Now, what we're doing here is that we're actually controlling how the chatbot responds because if somebody's using a bank application, they're expecting that, yeah, I should be able to pay with credit. So we're doing a more graceful handling of this case, but we still bring the user back to this choice block. So let's retrain our model and see what it looks like. go. Let's say pay with credit. We go, we jump down here. Sorry, don't support it now. How can I help you? I want to pay with credit. Still jumps to pay with credit, right? And we handled that very gracefully. So the two approaches here where we can either put it in the none intent or create another intent is part of those conversational design aspects where we have to take the idea of how do we handle our NLU matching and how does it translate to business requirements? Do we want to fail silently and say, sorry, I didn't understand that? Or do we want to define specific paths for specific items? Now, if the user says something completely random, like I want a pineapple pizza, right? We don't necessarily need to match it to an intent and go down a certain path. Having that non intent or fallback intent approach is good enough. So there you go. Uh, that's a great way to continue to improve your NLU model by handling false positives in a much more graceful way. And whenever your bank can support credit cards, you just have to replace that flow rather than the intent itself.